Hello. Today I'm going to be talking to you about something called the Randall cycle. The title of this video, why a mixed diet is the worst thing you can do. <clears throat> so they tell us that we should be eating a mixed diet uh, of carbohydrates, uh, fats, and protein. Uh, I'm going to argue in this video that you're better off eating a high carb diet, which we know is bad for your health, but particularly uh, you could even eat a high sugar diet, which we know is even worse for your health than eating a mixed diet. Uh, first off, let me say that I learned this from another YouTuber um, from his Patreon, and I actually talk with him one-on-one -on -one about it as well to get a more in-depth in -depth understanding. His name is Bart K. I'm going to link um, his Patreon in the description below because it is really a wealth of information. He gets extremely scientific. Uh, in fact, I watched his video on this a few times to try to fully understand it. The intent of this video is to summarize this within five minutes or so as to why, and then encourage you to go check out his Patreon if you'd like uh, more information. One of the main causes of insulin resistance is actually uh, combining fats and carbohydrates together, not just the uh, overconsumption of carbohydrates, although that can lead to insulin resistance over time. But we're talking about one of the main causes that's, that is likely the main culprit, I would guess, in society as to why. Uh, insulin resistance is so present, uh, prevalent. And if, for those who don't know, insulin resistance uh, leads to type 2 diabetes, it leads to um, obesity, uh, heart disease. There's a, there's a lot of uh, problems. Uh, essentially, what we call metabolic syndrome. And, and, and in fact, I'm going to link one more thing in the description by uh, Dr. Eric Sadikoff, who has a great, um, some great visuals on metabolic syndrome. All right, so how does it work? What is the Randall cycle? Well, I'm going to share my screen here, and this slide actually comes from one of Bart's presentations on the Randall cycle. Again, description below. What you're looking at here in the blue is essentially your blood. Uh, in the beige uh, is your cell membrane, and in the green is something called the mitochondria. That's a little bit outside of the scope of this video of what it is, but basically the mitochondria is your cell's powerhouse that actually creates energy for you. Simply, simplest way I can put it. As you can see, there's two entrance points here into the cell, one stemming from glucose, one stemming from LCFA, which stands for long chain fatty acid. I am not going to get into everything, what all these are called or what they mean. Again, check out Bart's video for that. But I will say this, uh, when you consume fat, essentially in the form of long chain fatty acids, in the absence of glucose or in small quantities of glucose, okay, this pathway will occur. I'm going to walk you through it. Now, uh, you consume the fat, the long chain fatty acids uh, come down here into the cell, and eventually they pass into your mitochondria, which they are converted into energy, okay? Uh, through this, uh, through this uh, it's actually called acetyl coenzyme A, okay? What I want you to focus on is this little, um, we're going to call it a stopper here, okay? What this means is the pathway stemming from glucose actually gets blocked, okay, when, when it comes to energy production, as you can see the arrow going down here, okay? All right, so what that means is when you consume fat in the absence of glucose or in small amounts of glucose, small amounts of carbohydrates, aka generally a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet or any kind of low carb diet, this will actually block the ability to use a glucose for energy. He presumed that when he discovered this, that fatty acids will always overrule glucose, which ends up not being true. Uh, some scientists later down the road found out the other side of this, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But when this is produced in the mitochondria, we also get a buildup of, build of citrate here, which actually blocks again the even the ability for glucose to even enter the cell in the first place. You see how this citrate is blocking this, okay? So this is the entrance of glucose. So it's actually, a imagine like a door and the fat is standing inside the door and it's just saying, here's the doorway, you can't get through, right? Okay, again, I'm not gonna go over everything on this slide. My point is, fat in a low carb situation will actually block carbs from being entered in, okay, and 
the mitochondria to be able to uh, produce pyruvate. So the Randall cycle shows that this is blocked. On the flip side of that, when you consume carbohydrates in larger quantities, in fat in smaller quantities, the same exact thing happens just on the reverse, which means that you are not going to be using fat for energy. You're going to be using glucose for energy. And the mitochondria is going to produce ATP from pyruvate, which comes from glucose. And what's going to happen is it's going to go all the way up this chain and then it's going to block this. And actually, once it reaches this uh, melanol colvenzyme A, it's going to actually store the rest as triglycerides, whatever's not used, okay, by your mitochondria a.k.a. fat. So this is uh, your cells actually converting uh, glucose into fat and for storage. All right. Very good. So what the heck does that have to do with being a mixed diet? Well, when you have a high level of fat and a high level of glucose in the blood, okay, both actually get blocked. They are blocking each other. See if that makes any sense. So because these two are antagonistic against each other, they actually block one another, meaning that neither can get through. What happens is insulin sends a trigger okay, to send either this glucose or fats to your cells for energy after you eat. All right. So these two things get blocked okay, because they're fighting uh, one another. So what does your body have to do? It actually has to produce more insulin, again, because your cells are actually starving. So you get hungry. When you combine high carbs and high fats together, when you have a lot in your bloodstream, you will feel more hungry. And you've probably experienced that. You eat a huge meal, which is a ton of fat and carbs. Two hours later, you're hungry again. Maybe you feel like you're starving. Your cells are actually starving. Okay? And this is the mechanism for how it works. It's called the Randall cycle. So the more and more insulin you produce, okay, and the more and more that you block these uh, two entrances by having this antagonism, the more likely you are to get insulin resistance because you are going to be chronically insulin resistant because your cells have to keep producing more and more and more of it. Simplest way I can put it, okay? So the Randall cycle is really, is likely the main way which causes insulin resistance because it's not just the overproduction, it's not just the overconsumption of glucose by itself. Most people are eating a mixed diet. Okay? Majority of people are eating a mixed diet, high in carbohydrates and high in fat, particularly processed foods, junk foods, etc. That is why when someone goes on a vegan low-fat diet, they can get a reduction in insulin resistance. It's not just keto and low-carb diets that can re reverse insulin resistance. And why is that? It's because of the Randall cycle because they are no longer combining and blocking these two pathways. Now, can that have other uh, health detriment down the line? Yes, uh, and many of you know that, but that's besides the point. I'm talking about someone that's going on a more uh, you know, high carb vegan diet with rice and beans and salad and uh, vegetables and some sugars and things like that, fruits and all that. And they don't eat much fat, they will likely start to reverse insulin resistance um, based on this Randall cycle. So I just wanted to say, the point of this video is to show you that overall, um, it's better to choose one or the other, to choose a high fat diet or medium to high fat diet or a high carb diet than to actually combine the two. And that's what they tell us to do all the time is that we're supposed to have this mixed diet and moderation and all that, okay? So uh, that's nonsense. Don't listen to that. That's how the mechanism works. And hopefully that helps some people out there. If you're interested, uh, you can reach me on uh, my website, cookinginketones.com. I have some recipes on there and a blog, as well as a Patreon, which I have um, a Slack group, which we have group messaging. Um, and it's just a small monthly fee if you want to join. And it's, there's some kind of text consultations there every single day, as well as one-on-one -on -one consulting. So, Anyway, that's it. That's the Randall Cycle in a nutshell. Thank you.